it's your girl, Just Nurse Jen, back at it again, driving and vlogging. So, since I have to go to Vancouver for some medical appointments, I decided to respond to a question that I've had a supervisor and supervisors in the past ask me personal opinion about, as well as some people who've sent me some messages regarding what my thought is about being the single most important thing I could give advice to any nurse or nursing hospital like worker provider and I have to say I don't think that it's just for hospital employees but most definitely can pertain to all those working in healthcare since we do have extreme amounts of stress put on us during a given chef shift seven hour I was trying to say for some reason a 12 hour shift period of time I think the most important thing to remember is not taking work home with you hard easier said than done very very hard to do in reality so don't take work home with you and don't take home to work with you. So simply put, I say leave it at the door. Leave it at the door, leave it at the door. It used to be the minute I walked through the double sets of doors at my old job, this time it's just one single locked door. I take that time to decompress in my car before getting home. I take that time to decompress from home on my way to work. I listen to music, I jam it out, I dance it out. Maybe you'll see some video dancing vlogs as I'm driving since there's a tip for you on how to stay awake with long drives too if you're not big into caffeine. So I'll be making one of those in the future. But I honestly do believe that there is such an important lesson to be learned from leaving it at home, leaving it at work. And honestly, when I come back to work, I am legit for real. When I say like from one shift to the next and I come in and someone asks me questions, for the most part, I legitimately do not know. I, I've let myself forget it. There are some things that I don't forget, but, but I most certainly leave it at work. Allow yourself that decompression time, whether you have to walk to work, you choose to walk to work, bike to work, ride to work, jam out, do whatever you have to do to allow your brain to de disengage from good things that happen before work, mad things that happen, bad things, sad things, angry things, whatever you were doing before work, allow yourself that decompressed time in the car, get to work, leave it at the door. Then when you get off work, you can pick that crap back up but, but your loved ones hopefully will respect you enough to not bring that stuff to you at work, meaning like don't text you at work about that crud, don't call you, don't expect responses, unless it's something obviously very critical, then that stuff can just stay away because it does affect the team, it affects your ability to work, uh, and then vice versa. I've had a situation when I first, like I've said in a previous video, I used to work at two rural critical access hospitals when I first chose to move to the coast from an urban city. And one of those places I had to work eight hour shifts. It was hell on earth. It was two months is all I managed to make it there before I was like, dude, I gotta tap out. This is too much, it's not worth my license, it's not worth everything that I work so hard for. Not to mention, almost ended my relationship because I didn't know how to leave it at work. Additionally, there was no way to decompress and if something makes you that happy, you gotta get out of it. You've gotta get out of it and then find or ask for help on how to cope if you're not coping with things very well if it's work related or home related. There's so many types of help um, to get through just about any situation that there is. So yes, very long winded response, but I honestly think that your family life, your relationships, 
your friendships, um, your coworker friendship relationships, your patients, if you're in healthcare, everybody will benefit from leaving it at the door. Simple as that. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful afternoon, evening, Sunday, Sunday about five o'clock. It's beautiful here in Washington, both at the coast and uh, in Vancouver slash Portland, Oregon type area. It is just gorgeous. So I truly hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. Love you so, so much. Thanks for subscribing and tuning in. Uh, please like, share, ask questions if you have additional questions or thoughts about this. I am more than well willing and interested in posting another video and or sharing your guys' responses to this video. Love you. See you next time. Bye.